Hello. We're back. It's Jason and James with a slightly different introduction. Hi, Jason. Hello. This is a video that I tried to make the other day. Uh, Jason had a different scene, but I was trying to play this horrible, vicious... Oh, it's not vicious struggle at all, but that's what it reminds me of. It's the cosmic, the new Cosmic Cube team. Um, and Lochier of DM North made a very technically impressive team and technically rather demanding team which he wrote about and I'll, I'll put the link in the description um, it basically swaps swaps your life so it's a, an epic basic action and that means that you have to have a, a, f a four cost or higher in the field in order to buy it but not in order to use it this much I remember and you can't copy them and you can't buy or use more than one per turn and when you use it it goes back to the card and I think those are the limitations um, and it costs six, so it's a bit of a pain in the bum. But basically, it looks fun because it swaps life with your opponent. And Lorgier noticed that, and I this had eluded me. But uh, Thor, super rare Thor from Infinity Gauntlet says, while Thor is active, when you feel the character die, deal two damage to target character die or player. Which means it's one of the few cards where you can really quickly and effectively do damage to yourself. So the idea is basically to kill yourself. By fielding stuff using perhaps Madeline Pryor's Global, which says pay a mask and a life once per turn, field a psychic. So pay a mask, lose three life effectively, or two damage and one life, field a psychic, and do that a bunch of times without dying. And in the meantime, once you've got Thor in the field, buy Cosmic Cube, use Cosmic Cube, swap life when, you're, when your life, which becomes your opponent's life, is sufficiently low that you can finish your opponent off with a bit of Thor damage. I think that's the that's the gist of it, basically. And we've got um, Ramp to get to that, removal in the form of Rare Black Widow and Spider-Gwen, and Deacon to keep you alive. Deacon made famous by the Master Mold teams in last last year's Worlds, I'm, I'm going to say, I think. Um, so that w means you can't take more than seven damage in a turn, I think. Uh, that and Distraction to keep me alive. Now, we have played this before, and it... <laughs> It was really demanding, and I struggled, frankly, with the timing. But we'll see how it goes this time. This is my second bite of the cherry. Um, anyway, Jason, what do you have? Oh, I forgot to switch the camera, but uh, you get the idea. Jason, what, what have you got? Uh, it's just occurred to me that I think this is probably the absolute worst, most <laughs> wrong team to play against <laughs> this team of yours. Brilliant. That's what I need. Um, yeah, this is a team that was... And I don't remember how, but it was um, a little bit inspired by uh, a game you had with Ben recently. Um, and I think it was in that um, using force attacks to clear out your field. Mm -hmm. um, I, I kind of, you know, that, it's always a good way to sort of get your opponent's field clear. So I, I put in a doomsday for his force attack global. Yeah. Um, but the thing that, you know, kind of, comes with that that always sucks is taking the damage um, because you have to take that damage to get rid of that character so mm -hmm. this is sort of a life gain uh, or a team with some life gain to it i haven't yet <laughs> used this <laughs> yeah right terrible it's going to be terrible um, i haven't yet used this um jimmy woo but jimmy's uh, um he gains uh two life gains you two life and does two damage to a target character die whenever um he's active and you use an action die so mm -hmm. that's meant to go obviously with shock and grasp um i've got ultimate spider-man who team watches to give me a life um okay. <laughs> and he gets when he's knocked out i gain two life uh spider-man is also you know shares his team affiliation so that kind of goes with that mm -hmm. um and then the other kind of life aspect of it is making you lose life which again it's perfect for you so this is going to go great for you i i foresee <laughs> it um but i've got i've got lalandra who makes you uh lose life whenever you use globals or action dice perfect i'm setting you up nicely yeah. here yeah, nice. and um memoir who makes you lose three life if you want to block um wow. i think the only okay. things that might kind of <laughs> help me is this magic who does two damage um to your field so if i can maybe mm -hmm. keep your field clear i might be able to get damage through barring i can keep deken out of your used pile um and i've got frontline 
um, to maybe make that heavy damage if you don't have Deken, obviously. Uh, and right. that's pretty much it. The team is is made just for you. Just to oh, yeah, look. Yes, this is. Uh, I think it's quite a good matchup. It's it's all about life manipulation, either losing or damaging oneself or gaining, and we will see. We will see how this pans out. Um, we have rolled off, and I think Jason won, and he told me that I should go first, probably. So one assumes that he wants to buy something expensive. I don't know. So good luck, good luck to you, Jason. Look, and don't confuse me too much. Um, so I do sort of remember that, or maybe he just doesn't want me to buy something expensive. Um, I do remember that I'm supposed to uh, buy Thor as quickly as possible, and then Cosmic Cube. It's debatable whether Cosmic Cube then Deacon. You have to be pretty swift either way because you've got to have that character in the field. So anyway, I will prep a die using my warring global and I'll pass priority in turn to you not gonna work so let's feel that hmm yep don't like it already <laughs> so yeah let's do this let's knock out that and let's buy magic go ahead okay All right oh, i'm gonna miss the sinister pull three from the bag that's all there are on one of those. One will go back in the bag. And let's see if I can get Ooh, not sure about masks particularly. Or indeed psychics. Uh, I'll take a chance on all the other Oh, well, okay. That <laughs> I've never seen so many question marks. Um, world is your oyster yeah that really should work shouldn't it so if i feel that uh yeah i can't really do any better than that i'll knock out both of those purchase a thaw for two and prep the die that's left in my bag irritating because we don't have becky anymore uh jason over to you i think So let's uh, MSG. You've got that whole thumb, forefinger MSG action thing. Going. <laughs> uh -huh. Almost like you've and done it before. Then, and then uh, Wolverine prep and pass to you. Okay. Um, well, I've got six going in. And four coming out. Sure. No thought. Which means I can't buy the thing, which is sad, but true. Let's see. And when I say the thing, I remember saying this last time, I mean Cosmic Cube, not the thing. Um, <laughs> I want to make sure I've got enough energy next time, because you know, there's a 75% chance that I will actually field Thor next time. So I need to make sure that I have enough energy to be able to buy the cosmic cube so i've only if i've i've just rolled once right i'm not re-rolled because i haven't looked at these correct correct so you have no prep global we've, est <laughs> we've established that correct and so i 
think a psychic is probably okay. Um, probably that's fine. I don't really. Yeah, the question is, am I going to buy something? Or am I just going to do a bunch of stuff? Um, let's field a psychic. So let's buy. Or not? Shall I KO that? Let's KO Psychic. Let's buy Madeline Pryor. Or Spartigan. What have you actually bought? <laughs> what are you trying to do there? Uh, magic is the only thing I bought. Ah, uh -huh, magic. So removing magic from the field is not particularly going to help, but. I know, such is life. Let's have a Madeline Pryor for better or for worse. She has good fielding. Um. Then let's. Uh, I've got an extra energy here. I don't particularly need. Let's prep. I feel like this is not the most efficient thing. Do you know what? I could just, I could just pay for Madeline Pryor straight up and keep my psychic right. So that's a prep and Madeline Pryor, and there is Mr. Sinister for next turn. And you don't have any more preps, so there's not much more I can do. I think. Priority to you. And turn. Arguably, I should have bought a bolt thing, because then if it rolls to energy. Never mind. Feel the sidekick. Field magic. Two to your field. Yeah. And then I will use your lovely Thor Global and the Dark Phoenix Global. Knock that out. And spend one for front line. <laughs> oh <dear. laughs> okay. And that's priority to you. I'm gonna field I'm gonna miss the sinister, so I'll field the psychic proper psychic. Alright. And turn. Okay. I have four in the bag and three of these. Yes, I should have bought Spider Gwen on, on balance because if it comes out as bolts they would be more useful than masks. So. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well maybe we can do something with this. Okay, so um I don't particularly want to reroll really anything, I don't think. Two in the bag. One prep. We have one for that and that. And we could pay two for that. Give ourselves two. Probably need some. Yes, annoying. Okay, so field him for shield. Um, arguably. No, never mind. I will saw global. That's one, two, three, four, five. That one's a mask. So I'll Thor Global and kill that. Yeah. Which means... Two. Cosmic Cube will cost two. It's two. Mm -hmm. And... Do I want to play with a fist or not? I could prep. But I'm inclined to keep the masks for Madeline Pryor, potentially. Which is once per turn. I don't think it matters. I'll pay with that. I don't care. Ah, no. You know what? I'll play with that, because somebody might do distraction. Um, you never know. And priority to you. Back. And turn. I have purchased my epic basic action. And you didn't have any bolts to force him at <laughs> because I forgot about that, but I do have distractions. 
Two tears peeled. Yep. And let's buy a Spider Man for two. Okay. And then I'll pass priority to you. Oh, sinister. Kill one of your sidekicks. And you're going to kill one of my sidekicks? Oh. Uh, yes. yes. Or are you going to do damage to yourself? No, I'm going to kill one of your sidekicks. I don't okay. have to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I will attack with a 2 3 magic. And I will not block. Okay. So I'll take 2 plus my 18. Yep. Okay. Go ahead. Nice. Two out of the bag and two of these. I uh, don't think I want the action, but I got it anyway. Obviously. <laughs> and rolled it, obviously. You don't want to switch life totals and give me 18? Uh, not so much. <laughs> not so much. I, I can, though, not use it, to be clear. And then it, I guess it does not go back to the car. Um, I don't think I want that. I think if that's probably acceptable. That's probably better, I would think. Right, in the bag we have three dice, of course. Um, I'll probably prep a die. I'll probably regret it as well. I'll field a psychic. Uh, damaging myself. There we go. I've, I've kicked off the uh, ridiculousness of this team. It's extremely counterintuitive. Puts me on 16. Um, and I will bolt off a psychic and pay 3 for Dickett. Keep that and priority to you. Uh, Nothing? Yeah, I will uh, pay a bolt and a life to feel the sidekick. Question mark. It's a, sorry, it's a mask and a life, isn't it? I've got uh, magic, which is bolts. Oh, you've got the other one as well. Okay, sorry. Go on. Yeah. And I had a question mark, so. Yeah. So I could I'm on theoretically six, could have done either one. <laughs> I'm on sixteen, and you're on how many? Nineteen. Nineteen. Okay. Uh, over to you then. Let's see. I've got the I've got the pieces. I bought everything I need. Now I just need to roll that. Oh, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know what I'm doing. I need to not die, and then roll that. Sidekick two to your field. Yep. Oh, sorry. And oh, remind me, read me the text of Deken so I can see what horrible thing he's going to um, do or prevent. While Deken is in your use pile, you take no more than seven damage during an opponent's turn. Thank more God. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, pass priority to you. 
I'll field a sidekick, losing a life, put me on 15. Uh, losing three life, yeah. putting me on 13. <laughs> for better or for worse. Um, I'll use front line and yeah, so I'm gonna attack with uh, two sidekicks and magic. Um, so if unblocked, uh -huh, so if I block them, yeah, I see. Okay, um, you don't have a fist pump that I'm aware of. Okay. No, I do not. I'll block magic with a psychic and a psychic with Thor. And take four, I guess. Putting me mm -hmm. on nine. My psychic dies. So does yours. Thor survives, I think. Mm -hmm. oh, no, that's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Jolly good. Yep. Two from the bag. Two of these. Yeah. <laughs> Oh dear. Now would be a time to miraculously pull and roll the cosmic cube. I did pull it. Okay, this is interesting. Let's see if I can roll the bugger. Hand some characters. Well, not like that. I'm not sure what to do now. <laughs> <laughs> really not. <laughs> so I'm on nine life. And how much are you on? Nineteen. Nineteen? Sounds better than nine, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can re-roll some of these. I think that's probably a good idea. If I keep one of those. Let's see if I can roll them all the characters. <laughs> no. No, of course not. Why would I be able to do that? Um, huh. And again, once uh, once again, I've not le really learnt my lesson that I should have sort of huge smash on this team to get, at least get a psychic there. Okay, can I do any damage to myself with that? No. Is it worth swapping our lives? I think it might be. Oh, masks might be a thing. Deacon might be a th oops, sorry. Deacon might be a thing. Good to keep masks. You know what, I will swap our lives. I can't do any damage to myself. So that puts you on 9 and me on 18? 19. 19? Wow, even better. Good, take that. Uh, <laughs> okay. And this might work out, this might work out. So if I just And the, um, the action die goes back to the card. It does, yeah, it goes away. Okay, that's good. Clear my bag out. So I'll buy something else, get some psychics here. So that I can do Mr. Sinister next time, right? That's the thing to do. So let's buy. I said bolts I wanted last time. I don't think I've used one of those in anger yet. So let's try that. Um, what are you going to field? Who knows? Oh, you're going to field her. Mm, okay, fine. Pass priority? Jeez. Um sure. Turn. Alright, um, Dark Phoenix, her, 
pay two for the they woo. <laughs> and two and four for two shocking grass. Priority? I'm gonna do um, either Madeline Pryor or the other one. Or is it Madeline Pryor, probably? Uh, field a psychic, doing you two damage and taking one life myself. That puts you on seven, right? Yeah. Puts me on 18. If I could find 18, that would be. I have a die with no eight. No, there is. Okay. It's not a spin there, but how rubbish is that? <laughs> and then I will, Mr. Sinister, doing another two to you. Hang on. Not using that die. Using those dies. That would make more sense. Uh, which puts you on five. And then I'll Mr. Sinister again. Put you on three. Is that right? Right. Bloody Thor again. Sorry, Jason. <laughs> I'm sure you've had enough of Thor by now. Mm -hmm. Right. And three out. Well, it, it wasn't... Well, okay, let's see what we do. Three of those and one of these. Okay. Oops. Dropped. Dropped a decan. That should do it. Let's see what those. E, get in. Decan will go over there. Won't live that long, that'll be for fielding. And two sidekicks should kill you. And then I get a buff to my entire field. Yeah. Blimey. Well, it wasn't quite the uh, you know, switch life and and kill you in one turn, but it turned out all right. I think I kind of got the hang of it. I think it's interesting with Deacon that he becomes useful immediately. You buy him; you don't have to wait for him. Like you know, once he's gone through yeah. the back, he's he's distinctly less useful. In fact, mm -hmm. I should have bought. I should uh, just bought Jimmy Woo in preparation earlier. I mean, you could have knocked him out. I think with your Thor, because he's got he's got two levels that only have a two um, defense. But at least I would have some opportunity to get some life back potentially. I, sh I should have prepared better for the inevitable switch. Jason, thank you. Uh, yeah. Thank you, everybody at home, for watching. Please, if you feel like we deserve it, and only if we deserve it, do subscribe and like and share and stuff like that um please do let us know in the comments if you have any questions and uh, don't forget to watch next time thank you very much and thank you laurier for this team which i have wholesale stolen from you uh, i managed to figure it out the second time of playing props to you for designing it and winning every time you bloody played with it according to your tournament report you're a bit of a genius aren't you um thank you everybody and bye-bye bye-bye